Hello and welcome back to our next video. This time we are going to talk about what steps needs to be taken for planning a control, a closed loop control system. This picture we know already. What is the first thing we need to pick? This? Ah, no. This one, the controlled variable. I need to pick a controlled variable, because only if I know what I want to control, I can think about how and so on. Yeah? So I need to pick a control variable. Why do I need to pick it? Because I need to check if this control variable, if this is meaningful, yeah? do I have advantages from this control variable? Yeah? For controlling this variable, do I have any advantages, or is it just for nothing. Huh? Then it's controlled, but it's not better than before. Okay, so first, first thing, pick the controlled variable x. Yeah? Therefore, we check, check for advantages, yeah. and we select a suitable point of measuring, a measuring point. This is also, this is also quite interesting. Because here I have to measure the control variable, okay? Here I have to measure it. If I'm not able to measure, yeah? if I'm not finding a suitable measuring point, then I can forget this. Yeah? Select the measuring point. If I have advantages, if I can, if I can select the measuring point, then I have fixed my control variable. That's the first thing I need to do. The second thing, now you think, oh, we can already check something here and here and here. But no, no, no. The second point is, now that I know which variable I'm going to control, I can think about the disturbances. Yeah? I can think about which disturbance is possible. Yeah? So the second thing is, yeah. Select or select, uh, which is a determine possible disturbances. Yeah. Select determine possible disturbances. Yeah. And herefore, yeah, I really have to check. How big can they be? How big might they be? This is an important question, yeah? because what I actually want from my control system is that those disturbances can be cleared. Okay? They can be eliminated from my control system. So therefore I need which are possible disturbances and how big are they? Yeah? Only if I know how big they are, yeah, I know how much energy I have to put in to overrule them, to get them away. Now I have to select a correcting variable. Okay? That's the third thing. Yeah? Now that I know the disturbances, I know the controlled variable, and now I have to select some variable which can influence the control variable. Yeah? Three, select the correcting, correcting variable, select the correcting variable. I need to select this correcting variable to control the control variable at its best. Yeah? This is not, there might be several 
possibilities to influence the control variable. For instance, like I said, this velocity control, the speed control of the car yeah, from our last video, I can either think I give throttle, I open the throttle or close the throttle, that would be one possible way, or another thinkable way, even if it's stupid, I admit, yeah, but another thinkable way would be to bring the, the, the engine to full power and control the speed with the brakes. Possible, probably not very sensible, but also a way to correct the speed. If I have the selected, selected the chorus correcting variable, yeah, I can select the control element. Yeah. And here, I have to select them in a way that this control element is strong enough, yeah, is really strong enough to correct the biggest possible disturbance. Okay. So now I know how big, how powerful this control I, with the uh, correcting variable. I know which type of control element I need, and from the di disturbance I know how big and powerful this control element needs to be. Now we are talking about quality, control deviation here. Yeah? I need to know, that's the fourth point, I need to know what means quality. Yeah? What is the possible, the possible maximum deviation? Yeah? What, how long did I need to, to, did I have the time to, to, to bring the, the control variable and the reference variable together? Yeah. What are the time constants there? So I have to select a control quality. This means maximum deviation. maximum time for reacting, yeah? things like that. Yeah? Why do I have to think about this? Why I say yeah, zero and, and, and zero? Yeah? Because then it's, it's expensive. Okay? Who shall pay this? Now everything is clear. Now, now we can select this thing here. Yeah? Now we can select the controller. Yeah? That's our that's our fifth step. Select a suitable controller. In the next video we will see there are a lot of different types of controllers. Yeah. Select a suitable controller. One which meets this control quality. Yeah. And with all, we can control this control element and so on. So we need to select a suitable controller. That's the next step. Yeah, and then the next step, they are very obvious. They are very obvious. The sixth step is mounting. Mounting and erection of this whole stuff. Yeah. And Last but not least, we have commissioning. Try it out. Yeah. Commissioning, tuning, commissioning and tuning of this stuff. Yeah. Optimizing. These are the steps. Yeah. These are the steps I have to follow. Then I know which closed loop control device I can have, which is suitable for my application. Next time, like I said, this point here, select a suitable controller. Next time we will hear about different type of controllers, how they might be distinguished. Okay, But that's in the next video. For this video, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.